Hello there and welcome. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at lesson plan on teaching phonics. A phonics lesson plan typically focuses on teaching students the relationship between letters and the sounds they make. So let's lesson dive plan in. on teaching phonics. Number one, objective or objectives. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to learn the sounds of the letters a b and c learn the sounds of the letters a b and c number two recognize and produce words that begin with these letters recognize and produce words that begin with these letters number two materials needed Flashcards with pictures of objects that start with the letters A, B, and C. Example, apple, ball, cat. Flashcards with pictures of objects that start with the letters A, B, and C. Example, apple, ball, cat. Whiteboard and markers. Whiteboard and markers. Worksheets with letter tracing and match activities. Worksheets with letter tracing and matching activities. Phonic songs or rhymes. Phonic songs or rhymes. And small prizes or stickers for positive reinforcement. Small prizes or stickers for positive reinforcement. Three, learning experiences or procedures. A introduction and this has a duration of five minutes. Number one. Greet the students and introduce the lesson topic, phonics. Greet the students and introduce the lesson topic, phonics. Explain that phonics is the relationship between letters and the sounds they make. Explain that phonics is the relationship between letters and the sounds they make. Show the flashcards with pictures of objects starting with the letters A, B, and C. Show the flashcards with pictures of objects starting with the letters A, B, and C. Ask the students to identify the objects and the initial sounds. Ask the students to identify the objects and the initial sounds. B. Phonics activity and this has a duration of 15 minutes. Number one, begin with the letter A. Begin with the letter A. Write the letter on the whiteboard and pronounce its sound E as in apple. Write the letter on the whiteboard and pronounce its sound E as in apple. Number two, show a few pictures of objects starting with the letter A and pronounce each word emphasizing the initial sound. Show a few pictures of objects starting with the letter A and pronounce each word emphasizing the initial sound. Number three, have students repeat the sound after you and practice saying the words together. Have students repeat the sound after you and practice saying the words together. Four, repeat steps one, two, three for the letters B and C. Repeat steps 1, 2, 3 for the letters B and C. Practice and this has a duration of 15 minutes. Number 1. Distribute worksheets with letter tracing and matching activities. Distribute worksheets with letter tracing and matching activities. Number 2. Guide students through tracing the letters A, B, and C and matching each letter with a corresponding picture. Guide students through tracing the letters A, B, and C and matching each letter with a corresponding picture. Number three, provide assistance and feedback as needed. Provide assistance and feedback as needed. D, phonic song and this has a duration of five minutes. Number one, Teach a simple phonic song or rhyme that incorporates the letters A, B, and C. Teach a simple phonic song or rhyme that incorporates the letters 
A, B, and C. Number two, sing the song together as a class, emphasizing the sounds of each letter. Sing the song together as a class, emphasizing the sounds of each letter. And E, assessment, and this has a duration of five minutes. Number one, review the initial sounds of the letters A, B, and C. Review the initial sounds of the letters A, B, and C with the students. With the students. Number two, show flashcards with pictures of objects and ask students to identify the initial sound of each word. Show flashcards with pictures of objects and ask students to identify the initial sound of each word. F conclusion, and this has a duration of five minutes. Number one, recap what was learned during the lesson. Recap what was learned during the lesson. Number two, provide positive reinforcement and praise for student participation and effort. Provide positive reinforcement and praise for student participation and effort. Number three, preview the next lesson or activity. Preview the next lesson or activity. And letter G, homework, and this is an optional activity. Assign students to find and bring objects from home that start with the letters A, B, and C and share them with the class in the next session. Assign students to find and bring objects from home that start with the letters A, B, and C and share them with the class in the next session. Adjust the duration and the faculty level of the activities based on the age and proficiency level of your students. Adjust the duration and the faculty level of the activities based on the age and proficiency level of your students. So there you go guys, that's the end of this lesson plan on teaching phonics. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share, and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. Good luck and thanks for watching.